question nine. This question nine is also some more questions having to do with lenses and mirrors. It says, which of the following statements is true about mirrors and lenses? A, it is possible for convex mirrors to form real images sometimes. B, an object at the focal point of a convex lens will form an image at the other focal point on the other side. C, parabolic mirrors cause a problem called spherical aberration. D, a virtual image for a lens forms on the left side, which is by definition on the side where the object is. So do virtual images form on the side where the object is? So let's go through the, these. Some of these we have answered, uh, we have begun to answer in our explanations of the previous question, question uh, eight. Okay, so which of the following statements is false? Uh, it is possible for convex mirrors to form real images. So convex mirror, we said, was this one, okay? And we said that the focal point of a convex mirror is on the other side. Well, we, we see that no matter where the object is, a straight beam of light bends this way. It feels like it's coming from the focal point, okay? So it bends in such a way as it appears as it's coming from the focal point. A beam of light headed to the center of the mirror bounces back. These two angles are equal and the object forms an image uh, here, a diminished image. So notice the object forms a, a small image here and it forms a virtual image on the other side of the mirror. Now what if the object is closer? Okay. If the object is closer, is there going to be any difference? So let's say the focal point is here, straight beam bounces back, beam heading this way goes this way, okay? Actually, not really. The image just gets closer to the surface and you get closer, but it's still on the other side. If you're standing right up on the mirror, it's going to come here like this, come here like this, come here like this, come here like this, and it's going to reflect and it's gonna form an image right here. So by the time you are basically right up to the mirror, the image is right next to you on the other side. So there's never a time where a convex mirror is forming a real image on the left side, okay? So it says here, it is possible for convex mirrors to form real images? No, okay, false. B, an object at the focal point of a convex lens. What is a convex lens? Well, convex lens has basically the same curvature on the left side. It's, for, it's facing that way. And then it uh, has the other curvature, the opposite curvature on the other side. So in other words, convex lens is the same as a converging convex lens. This one actually is called the biconvex. Biconvex. So... A uh, general term for those is convex lenses. Any lenses that are uh, thicker in the inside, the, in the middle, than they are on the outside. So this is same as uh, converging lenses. Okay? So if you are on this focal point, where will your image be? Okay? Well, you have uh, the lens has two focal points. It has the main focal point here, the primary focal point. And then this is the secondary focal point. If a straight beam of light comes and enters the lens, it bends in such a way as it, as it goes through the focal point. A straight beam of light headed for the middle of the lens keeps going straight. Well, what ends up happening is that the two never converge on the other side. And if the beam of light goes back, they never converge on this side. So it ends up that it there is no image, okay? Well, if you look at the equation um, for image formation, we have one over DO plus one over DI is equal to one over F. If the DO is the same as F, right? You're standing at the same distance as the focal point, then you have one over F, um, one over F plus one over DI is one over F, cancels, cancels, 1 over di is equal to 0, di is infinity. So it never forms an image. So it's false to say that um, uh, an object at the focal point of a convex lens will form an image at the other focal point. No. It should say it forms no image. 
What if it had said for a concave lens? Concave. Would it then have been true? What kind of lens is a concave? What kind of lens is concave? Well, concave is basically the same as the diverging lens. On the left side, the curvature is towards you, and it goes like this. This would be called biconcave, right? Biconcave, and it would be diverging. Okay? If you're on this secondary focal point, well, actually, uh, for a diverging lens, this is the primary focal point. It's on your side over here, and then there's a secondary focal point over here, okay? So if a straight beam of light comes here, it bends in such a way as it appears to be coming from the focal point, right? It goes like this, like this, like this. And then you have a straight beam of light comes like this, bends this way, then the image appears to be coming from here, right? So basically this kind of lens has pretty much the same effect as um, bringing the image always closer to the lens, okay? Um, so the image is never gonna be at the focal point itself if the object is at the focal point. So how would we do the math of this one? Okay, you have one over DO plus one over DI is one over F. DO is equal to, um, the focal point of this one is negative, right? negative, and then DO is the same as F. So to, um, to write down the focal length of a diverging lens, you have to write negative because the focal length is on this side, on the left side. So you have to go one over F, that's the, where you are standing. This is one over negative F, okay? So one over DI is equal to what? Negative one over F minus one over F minus two over F di is going to be minus f over 2. So if you're standing at the focal point of a concave lens, which is a diverging lens, your image will be the half of your distance from the lens, half of that. So the lens will always bring the object closer to itself, okay? So b is also false. c, parabolic mirrors cause a problem called spherical aberration. That is also false. It should say non-parabolic mirrors. Non-parabolic mirrors cause a problem called spherical aberration. <clears throat> Why is that? Well, because a parabola is defined, you have a, imagine a para, parabolic mirror here, and this would be a parabolic uh, concave mirror. Okay, so where would the image be? Well, if you have uh, beams of light come in here, imagine you're looking at a faraway objects like stars and stuff. The parabola is defined to have one focal point, right? It has one focal point here. No matter where the beam of light is coming from, no matter where the beam of light is coming from, all beams of light will focus right here, right? So go, it will go through here. All parallel beams of light go through the focal point. Okay, so a parabola is defined to have only one focal point. The parabolic telescopes are the best designed telescopes because they focus the image at one point. Any non-parabolic telescope will have uh, uh, image will focus in different locations and the image will be fuzzy. Uh, if you watch my astronomy videos, you will see ma some mathematical uh, proofs there that I have done on parabolic mirrors proving that any straight horizontal beams of light for a parabolic shape, oh, they all go through the focal point. So the parabola is the best shape to have. So if anything is non-parabolic, we call that a spherical aberration, which means error. A spherically uh, if you have a mirror that is spherically cut, maybe it's more like this, you're going to have beams of light coming, going like this, another beam of light going like this, okay? So they will cross at different points, okay? 
and you will not have a single point where they are crossing and the image will be fuzzy. So that will be called spherical aberration. So you don't have to be a spherical mirror to have spherical aberration. Any non-parabolic mirror will have spherical aberration. D, a virtual image for a lens forms on the left side on the side where the object is. We already mentioned that here, right? Diverging lens forms virtual image which is on the same side where the object is. For lenses, the virtual image is on this side. For mirrors, the virtual image is where? It's on the opposite side. It's in the imaginary world, right? For a mirror, the imaginary world is on the right side, behind the mirror, because the mirror is bouncing the rays of light, so the uh, virtual world is on the other side. For a, a lens, the virtual world is on the side uh, to the left of the lens, because the lens, the beam of light is supposed to go through the lens, right? It's supposed to form a real image there. So if it doesn't form an image there, this is the virtual world, okay? So the choice is D. D, a virtual image for a lens forms on the left side, on the side where the object is, and that is true. Okay, thank you very much.